Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with the Chuggin Astro. Yes, we named the Astro. It's the Chuggin Astro. Well, anyways, today we are going to create a budget-friendly slat pull-out bed. It's going to mimic as a couch and mimic as a bed. And it should be wide enough for both Tara and I to sleep on. So that would be fantastic and long enough. I'm very excited. So let's just stop all the talking and let's get straight to work. So when I first drew out the plans for this bed, I drew out this. As you can see, I needed a lot of help with this plan. So then I asked Tara to draw some out. This is what she came out with. Something much more professional. So all the measurements will be linked down below so you can check that out. And all the products. And I bought this saw off Facebook Marketplace. So the most expensive thing was this crack jig. And this was 40 bucks. Measuring out the wood, which is 72 inches for the length of the bed cut some wood and don't forget the mask texture is key and then we did some measurements because you know then we cut some more wood i think you know what's going on here now we sanded every single edge of every single piece of wood to make it this flawless That actually feels kind of good. So I'm going to check out this pocket hole jig. Pretty nice packaging. So with this jig, you have to set everything to the width of the piece of wood that you're working with. So in this case, everything needs to be set to one and a half. So go ahead and set every little tool that came with this jig to one and a half. With gluing the piece of wood, screwing it into the other piece of wood, sniffing it and looking at it, make sure it looks good. And I did the other side. Went to test fit it, then we noticed that our eight and a half pieces of wood was too short and we actually needed two more inches. We just measured incorrectly on this. You need 11 inches of height to clear the wheel well in the Astro van. Luckily we got a lot of extra wood and you should too. That's why we have two extra pieces. Then we cut some more wood, drilled out some more pocket holes and just put all the legs onto the bed frame. Went to test fit it and it fit. We'll be doing 1.8 inch gaps between all these. Then gapping out all the pieces of wood, only screwing down the ones that are not the mobile pieces. Then started to set up the mobile piece as basically just that ledge. And now screwing down all the mobile pieces of wood. So this is gonna lock the bed closed whenever we are not using the bed, like when we're driving around and stuff. And this is a clean way to do it as well. Okay, so this is the next day. We got this basically fully built. We have a few kinks to work through. Like one issue with the way we built this bed frame, that's basically the placement of this leg. So this leg is in the way of the gas fill neck clearance hole. I'm not sure what you'd call that. I'm gonna end up doing instead is removing that leg and moving it up here somewhere so we have more clearance so then we can push it further because right now if we put it around the gas fill 
neck clearance hole, it would be basically wasting room back there. And I'd rather in increase that room by a few inches to increase how much storage we can put here. We have this latching mechanism, which actually works very well. You can move it now, but once you latch it, it's, it's pretty secure once you latch it. However, we still have the issue of when you unlatch it, this can move freely. So we went to Ace Hardware this morning and we got some brackets. So we're gonna use that as like a track of some sort to keep all this in place. Now I got these pieces. This is to prevent it from sliding all the way out. So if I'm sliding it out, this piece will be right here and it's gonna catch. And then it won't slide all the way out because it's gonna catch. Now since that's working pretty decent and I'm happy with that, we are going to set up some type of latching mechanism so this bed won't be sliding around the band uh, in case we need to do a hard stop or anything like that. Like a full, full bed. So I know a lot of y'all are going to talk about how big of the gaps are between the wooden planks. Uh, we don't fill them. We don't fill the gaps at all. So in total, we spent about $300. The foam mattress itself was a bit pricey, but this is the price you pay for quality. Ultimately, that's not a lot of money to build your own DIY bed in a camper van. And it pulls out, it does everything we need very happy with it it's very comfortable as you as you saw us laying down on it so this is how i did my diy pullout bed other people on youtube do it totally different but we are very happy with it guys if you enjoy this type of video and you like basically diy budget friendly camper van builds then i'll see you in the next video this is chris automotivate and terrace chilling over there i always appreciate and respect one another and i'll see you next time